Well, you can see that I have the UPS torn apart again. The circuit board is out. All I was going to do is reinforce the trace, but uh, because I'm a moron, apparently, I started working on it before I unhooked it from the battery. And it blew up once again. I don't know if this project is cursed or what, but uh, I blew up four of the transistors, the ones on these heat sinks, and uh, I do have enough spare parts. So I guess I'm just going to have to go through here and replace them. Hopefully nothing else fried. I don't uh, really know at this point, but I'm going to replace them and uh, try again. Um, all this black stuff on the printed circuit board here, that is uh, actually the the transistors, the magic smoke that was inside is now on the circuit board and in the air. I open the windows again. Uh, but uh, So I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, get back to you once again. Well, I replaced those four transistors and I think it's going to be okay again. Uh, but uh, the fix that I made on that uh, power trace that was too thin is right here. I just uh, took a wire and soldered it across from the connector over to this via here. And I also made sure to uh, strip some of the end of the wire and uh, solder it to the, the row of vias that was over here. Just that it was a good, uh, good path to get back to that chunk of copper. And this wire here isn't very thick. Remember this trace has to carry at least 60 amps, 60-65 amps for this test. Um, this wire clearly can't carry 65 amps, but it only needs to support the trace somewhat, so I'll see how that does. Um, and uh, if it stays below 100 Celsius, then I'll consider it good enough. It's time to see if replacing those transistors actually fixed this or not. I don't know for sure that only those four were bad. The other four could be also. I uh, ohmed them out, they seemed okay, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. So hopefully uh, this works, uh, but if not, I want to record this in case something catastrophic happens that might be interesting. So I have my uh, my load plugged in, it's it's off and uh, connected to the battery. I've got my charger on it just because. And uh, it's time to hook this thing up and see if it explodes or what. Okay, nothing so far. It is now connected. Let's see what happens when I turn it on. Did something weird at first, but it is running. And uh, my ammeter shows that it's not pulling in any unusual amount of current. Turn the fan on on my load. No heat, just the fan. And uh, it's running. Try low, see what happens. And it is running yet. So, I'm just going to uh, shut everything off, unhook it. This time I actually will unhook it from the batteries. And uh, I want to see if anything got hot, just in that little bit of time. Transistors. They're warm, but they seem okay. Alright, well, hopefully I fixed it. I am going to uh, redo this test. I'm going to power it up, run the heater for a few minutes, use my infrared thermometer, and uh, see if anything gets too hot. I'll get back to you once again. Maybe this project really is cursed. I should probably just throw this thing in the closet and forget about it. But, uh, here I am, I uh, ran into another problem. I turned it on and it did seem to run just fine. It powered my heater, uh, the 600 watt load, without an issue. But uh, the uh, two transistors, the two heat sinks, two transistors each, that I just replaced, uh, these down here, got very hot, whereas the uh, ones I didn't replace stayed cool. So 
something went wrong when I uh, shorted this thing out. And I, uh, I poked around on this thing a little bit, um, try to figure out what was going on, and I did find the problem. So I'm just going to uh, see if I can demonstrate that here without blowing it up completely. I'm not so sure the way things have been going, but uh, so I have my multimeter set on its oscilloscope function, and I am just going to probe the uh, this thing's plugged in, so I don't want to really want to touch it. I'm going to probe the uh, gate of one of this bank of FETs and the gate of one of this bank of FETs. The gate is what tells the transistor to turn on and off. So this is a good one right here, if I can stay out of the light. So that is what it's supposed to look like. It goes to uh, about 12 volts. And that's the bank of FETs that's staying cool. If I go over to this one, these are the ones that are getting hot. And uh, this is only uh, a few volts and it's not enough to turn the FETs on all the way. So those transistors aren't on all the way and they get hot because their resistance is higher. So I looked at the uh, circuit, I'm going to shut this thing off. So I looked at the circuit board over here um, with the components on the other side and uh, disconnect this thing. So I looked at the circuit board and the problem is this uh, U9 um, and I can't really figure out what the IC is. It has a non-standard part number on it. Um, so it's really not uh, replaceable as far as I'm concerned. And I'm going to have to think about what to do, if anything, about this problem. Because this output right here is bad. That's the one that doesn't go up to its full voltage. Uh, this output here controls the other FETs. That one does go up to the full voltage. So I'll have to figure something out. I don't know. Wish me luck.